Thank you. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for, for the invitation. And uh, thank you to uh, the rest of the speakers uh, giving interesting uh, perspectives uh, on this um, on this ID. Um, we will try to um, give uh, our perspectives on, on this uh, concept uh, as an output and as a um, as a feeder port. Uh, so um, let's see. I don't expect uh, everyone in the in the audience to know exactly where the city uh, and the port of North Shipping is located. But as you can see on the map here, we are located about uh, 160 uh, kilometers south of uh, Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, uh, and uh, about 300 nautical miles uh, north of Gdansk. This means that North Shipping is not only well located in a Swedish context, but also uh, in a Nordic and a Baltic perspective. Uh, and if you are a retailer uh, or a wholesaler in the Nordics, it's actually very likely that you have your Nordic distribution center uh, in uh, one of the two uh, inner circles of, uh, of this map. Uh, we have a great infrastructure to and from the port. And that uh, really uh, makes uh, intermodal transport interesting in this uh, corridor. Uh, besides the fairway, of course, uh, with a draft of 13.5 meters or a vessel draft of 13.5 meters, uh, the port is uh, well connected with rail uh, capabilities uh, with direct access to the Swedish trunk line, uh, electrified. And uh, we have uh, not more than six kilometers uh, distance to uh, the route E4, uh, which is the busiest highway in Sweden, connecting Helsingborg and Stockholm and further north in Sweden. Uh, so in this respect, we, we are talking about a, a, a total population of 27 million um, uh, uh, people in the Nordics. Uh, our uh, center of gravity is, is clear. Um, and I think the last uh, point here is very important uh, already now, uh, and that is the uh, balanced cargo flows that we enjoy in the port of North Shipping. So who are we and what do we do? Uh, we are a small uh, company uh, in comparison to many of the other speakers. Uh, we are 100% uh, owned by the city of North Shipping. Uh, we have two uh, functions basically. We are both port authority and we are terminal operator uh, also running the stevedoring activities uh, in the port. Uh, we praise ourselves for being an intermodal hub. Uh, we also have big uh, port centric logistics activities. Um, and uh, we also run a significant investment uh, projects with 130 uh, million euros uh, as a budget. That means infrastructure and, and, uh, and uh, equipment. So uh, when we were asked to in, uh, participate in this, uh, in this uh, webinar, uh, we, we tried to understand a little bit, okay, what's, what's moving? Uh, and we looked at the statistics. Here is uh, only the Swedish uh, export and, and import to, to the Black Sea. Uh, but obviously we can see that we have, uh, in particular to Turkey, both uh, import and export going, uh, some to Ukraine uh, and some to Romania. Uh, and we also uh, decided to add uh, the Polish uh, trade uh, into, the, um, into the picture because we very much believe that a concept like this for a port like us, it will be a combination of short sea intermodal solutions um, and, and different systems working together. Uh, when we look at the actual market, so what, what is this trade about? We know that the south, uh, sorry, the northbound volumes from, from the Black Sea uh, region, mainly Turkey though, uh, it's very much about white goods, it's very much about electronics. So food stuff, fashion and retail, uh, and a lot of components to, 
to, to the high-tech industry and to the automotive industry. Uh, and when we look at uh, the southbound volumes, as, as already mentioned, I mean, the forestry industry in, in, in Sweden is, is huge. So paper and pulp, sawn timber uh, is a great portion of the trade that, that is moving. Uh, steel, of course, and again, uh, high-tech products and, and uh, automotive uh, and high-tech parts. So, um, Someone was uh, talking about a missing link and someone was trying to say that that missing link is not missing. Um, what we try to say with this picture though is that on this side of, of, the, um, of the map, uh, things are existing. Uh, we have in existing infrastructure, infrastructure uh, we have existing feeder services running, uh, we have existing intermodal services, both rail and road. And just as one example, uh, we tried to show here on a map that you can reach Idansk on a Friday, connect with a free feeder on, on Saturday, which is in Norshipping on uh, operating on Monday, uh, and which will reach uh, Oslo 24 hours later with a, with a rail connection. That's ready to book today. So I think it's, it's a very important message from here that if this comes true, we are ready. So, um, as, a, as a summary from our side would be that we know that there are cargo moving. Yes, we know also that they move different ways. Uh, we have existing infrastructure, as I said. Um, when we speak to, uh, to our customers, mainly the BCOs, uh, we understand that they want options. Uh, it was also mentioned by someone else that they want options, alternatives, uh, to build uh, more robust supply chains. Uh, I think 2020 and the pandemic learned a lot of companies that uh, they need to challenge uh, the status quo of the current supply chains. So, so in that respect, this could be an interesting, um, interesting option. Um, and also, I think from a Nordic perspective uh, and from a Swedish perspective, which has not been stressed so much uh, in the previous presentation is, is about the, uh, the, the green agenda. Uh, and the sustainability goals uh, that we have, uh, that is really climbing um, on, on, the, um, in, on the agendas for, for our customers we see. And this could potentially mean uh, a, a more sustainable yet fast way to transport goods between the Black Sea region uh, and, uh, and the Nordics. Um, and then the last, uh, last bullet point there is maybe more a question than, than, a, um, than, than a statement as such, but we've seen near sourcing um, happening uh, the last years. Uh, and um, again, Turkey has been booming. Um, how will that come into play here? Uh, that, that would also be interesting to, to see, uh, to capture this, um, this opportunity. That was all for me. Thank you.